Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we're checking out my top five best wireless CarPlay dongles. I've covered many wireless Apple CarPlay dongles on this channel and a popular question I always get is what is the best wireless CarPlay dongle? So hopefully at the end of this video you'll know which are my top five and which one is the most overall best value for your money. Wireless CarPlay dongles have slowly progressed over the years and we are now seeing makers switch their focus towards the two-in-one wireless CarPlay adapters, which offer the ability to also pair with Android Auto devices too. But that's for another video. In this video, I will focus on wireless Apple CarPlay only adapters. So let's find out which adapters had made my top five. In this wireless CarPlay dongle roundup, I have gathered all of my 15 wireless CarPlay dongles that are reviewed on this channel. I then updated them to their latest firmware to ensure I ran the most compatible and bug less updates on them. Dongles were removed from the list if they failed to update or if they simply bricked them afterwards. I then ran each dongle on my Pioneer 93 DAB system, which is a wired and wireless CarPlay aftermarket receiver. And if any of the dongles didn't work with it, they were also eliminated from the list. I did this because it will show that the dongle is more versatile and compatible than any other that simply would not work with it. I also eliminated dongles that I couldn't buy anymore. There's simply no point recommending a dongle if you can't buy it. So this involved checking the original links in my reviews and searching for them online. And if their sale pages were no longer loading or the item has been discontinued or it was out of stock for a long period of time on their selling page, they were removed too. And after these first three tests, I managed to narrow these 15 dongles down to just eight. So in my next test, I checked their boot up, pairing and connection times into Apple CarPlay. All eight dongles took between 12 and 15 seconds to boot up to their main menu and 12 to 24 seconds to pair with my iPhone 13 Pro and launch wireless Apple CarPlay. I did both of these times together to get an overall total boot time into CarPlay and compared them to their actual total boot time. The shortest time is obviously being better because you also have to factor in the boot time of the car system too. So ideally you don't want it longer than 30 seconds because you'll likely be heading on the road and driving by then. I then looked at touch input and audio lag, playing back video recordings of my interactions, swipes and navigating tracks to get an idea which dongle handled it better and rated each one out of five with five being the most responsive. All dongles ran their default configuration settings, and whilst there were very few differences between them, some did stutter or not be as smooth as some others. I also ran each dongle for an hour with streaming music from Spotify, and I also ran Apple Maps navigation along with it in the background. All whilst my iPhone was also charging from a distance to see if any crashed and also how the dongle handled with the iPhone being used over a long distance. This is to mimic if you had to temporarily leave the car with your iPhone still in your pocket. Again, some dongles handled distance a little better than others whilst neither crashed on me during their continued use for over an hour. Configuration and multi-user support is also a factor. So I rated each dongle if they offered multiple device menus and how well they could be configured for compatibility or to tweak the dongle's operation to support all the different vehicles that are out there. Between the eight dongles, there were three levels of configuration menus, some that were basic, some offered some little further options, and some had a lot to tweak and customize the performance and experience of the dongle. This is mostly tied to the type of software they're running between what I like to call full screen OS, the older U2W OS, and the newer AutoKit software. And finally, in my tests, I looked at their current price. Checking their availability, I was able to get their latest prices, including any promotional coupons or vouchers. Averaging out their cost, I compared each dongle's cost to how they performed in each various tests to score how much value they actually bring. At the end of all this, I had my top five finalists. Any one of these five dongles is definitely worth picking up. However, some dongles do things a little bit better than others. And after totaling up my test scores, my number one wireless dongle was a big surprise to me. So fifth place is the Ottercast U2 Air. In my test, the U2 Now actually scored better than this U2 Air, but the U2 Now is becoming much harder to purchase online, with all Amazon links pointing towards the U2 Air. 
Being one of the full screen OS dongles, this dongle doesn't support multiple users. It has a very basic boot menu and a very simple configuration menu. But it does make up for these emissions with its boot speed into CarPlay, being the fastest dongle of the final eight dongles to boot into wireless CarPlay. In fourth place is the Brochong D CarPlay adapter. This dongle was a little bit of an unexpected finalist, rubbing heads and shoulders with the much more bigger name brands. This dongle scored average throughout all the tests and its boot speed was pretty average too, but it did have good Wi-Fi signal strength and specs, and it has a USB-A power pass-through port, a great config menu, and it ranks third cheapest in my top five finalists. The third place goes to the CarPlay to Air dongle, this dongle shares a lot with the fourth place dongle, and as a result, it also averaged throughout my tests. It also has USB-A power pass-through, and it has the same great configuration menu as the Brochong D dongle. One thing it does have going against it though, is its value, being the most expensive out of the five finalists. Also being the most marketed dongle online, you'll definitely likely see more negativity against its compatibility and questionable warranty and return support which after hearing a lot of feedback from the community, I think they should do a little bit better with. In second place, we have the Carlinkit 3.0 dongle. This dongle has been very popular and highly visible brand online. And in my test, it scored high in its Wi-Fi specs, and it also has multi-user support. It has power pass-through, and it was joint top in launching into its boot menu. However, due to its slower Bluetooth pairing speed, it was one of the slower finalists to boot up into CarPlay. It shares the same great configuration menu as the previous finalists. And because Carlinkit's focus has moved on to its newer 4.0 two-in-one dongle, this Carlinkit 3.0 dongle is the second cheapest out of our five finalists. And finally, the number one wireless CarPlay dongle is the Carlinkit 3.0 mini dongle. This result was a massive surprise to me, but the test scores nudged it ahead of its bigger brother. It carries the same configuration menu as the last three finalists. There is no USB-A power pass-through, which does make it a little bit more difficult should it require updating over the air, as well as recovering it should any of the updates fail. It has the same auto kit menu as its older brother, and although it was 16 seconds slower into CarPlay, it has a few things going for it. Other than its tiny size, it shares the same fastest boot into its main menu with its bigger brother, also, if you share multiple devices in the car, you'll be selecting your device sooner than the other finalists that also support multi-user support. Its Bluetooth pairing into CarPlay was faster, and as a result, it's quicker than our second place finalists. With great Wi-Fi specs, this dongle performed the best out of all the finalists for use over a five meter distance. But overall, I find that its price is the bigger draw here with this dongle. Again, with the shift going to CarLinkit 4.0, the Carlinkit 3.0 Mini can be had at the cheapest price out of all of our finalists. At $58.99 on Amazon right now, you'll get easy returns if it doesn't work with your vehicle. And with its features and general performance, if you're on a budget, this dongle is still performing just as well as the other finalists that cost almost twice the price. So there you have it. These are my top five tested wireless Apple CarPlay finalists. The three dongles that didn't quite make it out of the final eight were the Deo wireless adapter, the TMV Tech Auto Box version one, and the Atoto AD3 adapter. All three don't have the best config menus, but the Deo and the TMV Tech join the U2 Air as one of the fastest booting dongles that made it into our final eight. I hope you found this roundup of my top five wireless dongles helpful, and I'll leave links to all my reviews of each of these dongles in the description below so you can learn more about the dongle itself and my experience with it. Give us a thumbs up if you like this content, as I hope to do the same with two-in-one adapters, as well as the Android AI boxes, hopefully before the end of the year. As always, comments are welcome if you have any questions about any of the top five wireless dongles that I've covered in this video. Take good care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.